Wow, could I not believe this one? This one was a real doozy. Well, I don't even know where to start. Well, let me start with this. RT. RT News. I've always had a whole lot of respect for RT News. I really have. They have come a long ways in getting the truth out there. RT News. Wow, they're great. And then... I gotta watch this piece of garbage. I mean, Jesus, what I was I annoyed by watching this one. Here she is. Her name is Simone Del Rosario. Del Rosario from the barrio. I tell you, this woman made me sick. I couldn't believe it. Here she is. She's interviewing a BLM employee. This 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 bloodsucker here worked for the BLM for 30 years. And you know what? He's so ashamed, he wouldn't even have his name put in the interview. And this lady's smiling. Rosario's smiling. Oh, we can't tell you his name because he's ashamed of his name. He doesn't want anybody to attack him. He works 30 years for the BLM. I never, I never heard so many lies out of a government employee in my life. This guy makes Obama look like a Boy Scout. Unbelievable. Ah, I'm probably going to go off on this lady this time because when it comes down to the the militia standoff in Burns, Oregon, this gets Americans, there are blood rolling because we know how evil the BLM is. We know how evil the federal government is. And when the RT News hires a bimbo like this, Simone Del Rosario, I mean, the RT really blew it this time. I got a lot of respect for RT, but the manager who hired this woman, they better they better investigate the manager who hired her, and they better fire her immediately because she belongs on the Young Turks. I'm going to go on record right now. This woman is so liberal. She is, she is so pro-government, a pro-government shill, that this lady would fit perfectly with the Young Turks. Not once in this whole little interview she had did she ever mention that the Hammond family was tortured and thrown in prison. Not once did she mention all the minerals and the uranium and the copper and all the other min that the government's trying to steal. Not once during this interview did this BML worker ever say anything about putting the Hammonds in jail. Watch how he's lying here, too. Watch how his eyes go off to the left. Watch his Adam's apple. Watch how it works right. It's coming up here. Watch the Adam. See the Adam's apple? Now watch the eyes go to the left here. See the eyes go to the left? These are pure signs of lying and deception. Look at him. This guy, he's almost a pretty good liar. If you don't know what to look for, he's a good liar. But when you see those eyes go off to the left, look in the dark, and he, this man is a BML liar. Yeah, he's a liar. But the other part I liked about in this interview, what he said, he said, oh, we always worked it out. It took a long time, but we worked it out. Yeah, this coming from a bloodsucker who took the taxpayers' money for 30 years. I love that part. He said, oh, yeah, we always talked it out. It took a long time, but we worked it out. Yeah, it took 30 years. It took the taxpayers had to pay you for 30 goddamn years for you to take the, the, the rancher's property to take their pride, to put your jack boot on their neck. So this guy is the biggest paid liar I've ever seen in my life. This guy makes me sick. I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. He puts his jack boot on the rancher's head, on their neck, and then he says, oh, we work it out. I 30 years of my life, I, uh, I got paid by the taxpayer, screwing with the ranchers and this woman. If this woman's not fired from the RT... RT News, I'm losing a little respect for RT. Now, you know, you you got to give a big company like RT one break. I'm going to give them one break on this. They fired this girl this week. They're back on my side. But RT made a huge mistake hiring Simone Del Rosario from the Barrio. you got to really check out these people before you hire them, RT. I mean, this woman is the Young Turks material. She belongs in California in liberal land. And fairy liberal land is where this woman, she deserves to be on the Young Turks. She doesn't deserve to be on RT News where RT is supposed to be balanced. RT is not supposed to be on this side or that side. RT News is supposed to be for the truth. 
And what does she do? She hide, she hauls in some BLM paid shill, some paid liar who worked for the BLM for 30 years. I'm, I'm telling you, my blood pressure is going up a couple notches just listening to this woman. I lost some brain cells listening to this woman. This woman's doing, and you know what? First time I've really listened to her, but I saw her one time in some interview. Uh, Pete, or Pete Santilli had her on camera, I believe, and she lacked so cocky on camera. I knew this woman was cocky and arrogant right from the time I saw her on a, pan, a Pete Santilli tape. This woman's no good. I'm going to go on record here. Simone del Rosario, del Rosario, del Barrio. She just ain't no good. She should meet, and she needs to be on the Young Turk. She needs to be fired. Look at her and wipe that silly grin off your face. Americans ain't going to put up with it. You you insulted Americans, Rosario from the Barrio. You insulted Americans when you hauled this BLM piece of shit in front of us and lied to us. And it wouldn't be so bad if it was your own channel, Rosario, but it's not your own channel. This is the RT News, and RT News has to have a little bit more credibility. So I hope that RT News fires you yesterday, because you never even mentioned once about the Hammond family being put in prison for no good reason at all. That's what really makes me mad. People just seem to forget about this. Oh, it's all the BLM guy. The BLM tells the truth. The BLM guy is the, the one that put these people in jail. And the BLM man should be in jail. 